Today we're looking at the amazing digital circus baby age comparison. Whoa! We have baby Pomni from the circus, and then we have adult Pomni in real life. In today's video, we look at the humanized version of Jack's Pomni and Kane, and what they look like as a baby compared to them getting old. They look like a little mini Easter egg. Aww. We also do crazy things like operating on Pomni Kane Jackson Kinger, and even look at the amazing digital circus in AI in a Disney Pixar movie poster. Ah, well, why do you look like that? And then at the very end of today's video, we give you an update on Jackson Pomney's love story ah, and find them in the bath together. Are they still in love or do they just break up? Cuddle Nuggie with blanket and family hoodie with a mini baby nuggie. Available now at shopalexia.com. Go get your limited edition item before they sell out forever. Looks like if you want to become a baby. Let's get this video to 8,000 likes. I know we can do it. And if we don't, I heard you're about to turn super duper old. Like super duper old Grandpa Kane, who is so old, the only thing left of him is his giant teeth and fake eyeballs. Smash like to save your face. All right, our first amazing digital circus age comparison is going to be for... <gasps> oh, 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 I know who this is. It's for Pomni. Okay, on the right image, we have the baby version of cute little Pomni. And the picture beside the baby is toddler Pomni. But wait a second, family. Look at the images to the left now. <gasps> and we have adult Pomni. And the even bigger version of that uh, is teenager Pomni. But as a human. In. Whoa! We have baby Pomni from the circus, and then we have adult Pomni in real life. Aw, Pomni, you look so cute. But I have one question for you, girl. How did you end up mixing your candy cane eyes? Because when you were in the circus, your eyeballs were made of candy. But then when you were human, apparently you melted the two colors together, and now you're stuck with eyeballs made of purple grapes. That does not sound fun. It sounds sour. All right, let's see our next age comparison. And this one we have a little bitty baby bunny. And there is only one suspiciously purple bunny that I know from the Amazing Digital Circus. And that's Jax. Oh, my chicken nugget. Look how cute baby Jax looks right there. He is the tiniest little thing. He looks like a little bitty marshmallow dipped in grape soda. But, but uh, as y'all already know, I don't like grapes except grape juice and real grapes and all kinds of fruit. Okay, fine. Maybe I do like grapes. And then beside baby little Jax the grape, we have Aw, toddler Jax in real life. He is just as cute as baby bunny Jax. Except instead of being made of a marshmallow, his hair is now made into very puffy pasta. Because you ever read those chunky looking ones? Mm -hmm. That is his hair. Whoa, and then if you look on the left, we have the original Jax from the Amazing Digital Circus. <gasps> but look at right beside him. It's adult version of human Jax. Whoa, all of these pictures are super cool. Family, you have to tell me which version of Jack is your favorite in the comments below. All right, who is next on our amazing digital circus list? It's somebody with big eyeballs and who's holding something in their hand. Uh, they also have a very big smile and, um, ew, nothing else. Family, I know who this is. It's Baby Kane. Aw, wait a second. Why do you look kind of cute, though? Not only does he only have eyeballs and teeth, but apparently now his eyeballs have turned into pool balls. Or even more fun, beach balls. Those things look fluffy. Whoa, and beside Baby Kane, we have the toddler version of Kane, who looks super cute, super spunky, and his eyeballs got a little darker, too. Uh, Mr. Toddler Kane, sir, bro, what happened to you? And how how did you end up growing your head on your body? And then we look over here when we have the original version of Kane from the Amazing Digital Circus. Whoa! And then adult Kane. That dude looks like he can take over a circus. But the other dude that's literally only made of dentures? <laughs> Not so much. Oh, here we have Kinger. Aw, baby Kinger is all cuddled up in his robe trying to hide from the world. And so is toddler Kinger too. Family, why does he look so scared? Oh man, okay. And then on the left, we have the original version of Kinger. Ah, 
and the human version of King or two. Why did he end up growing a beard? Or is that just macaroni sauce stuck on his face? Either way, I am confused. All right, next up, we are comparing the baby Ragatha to the adult old version of Ragatha. <gasps> Baby Ragatha looks so adorable. But her hair kind of looks like a baby red crab. Sorry, Ragatha. Um, I didn't do your hairstyle. That's not my fault. Blame the ocean. And then we have toddler version of Ragatha who looks so cute and proper. She's like, yes, mom. I am ready to go to school. I am a good girl. And I promise you, I will fail all my classes. He's getting good grades for nerds. <laughs> Family, I'm just kidding. Then we have regular Ragatha over here. <gasps> and super old version of Ragatha beside her. What happened to you? I don't even recognize you that old. I mean, you look great. You look stunning. I love the button. You got a new one, I see. But apparently somewhere along the lines, you lost the string that is inside of your button eyeball. So hopefully she didn't accidentally slurp that thing down like a pasta noodle. Because you know we've been there before too. What is string and what is food? I don't know. I'll eat anything. All right, family, we have a couple more baby to old person comparisons. And then after that, we are operating on all of the amazing digital circus characters. Oh man, it's gonna get crazy. Whoa, just like how crazy these comparisons are. We have little Kofmo right there who looks like a, who looks like a large piece of bubble gum. Then somewhere out of nowhere, he grew a bunch of hair and turned into a toddler. Then we have the original version of Kofmo from the Amazing Digital Circus cartoon. <gasps> Oh no, but then when he got older, apparently his smile started to get old too, cause now he lost it. He really turned that smile upside down and got himself a frown. That's not how that's supposed to work. Oh man. All right, next up we have a gangle. Ooh, I love gangle. Look at gangle as a baby. She is so happy and smiley. <gasps> Probably because she's adorable. I want to put baby version of Gangle on my Christmas tree. That thing is a work of art. Then we have Gangle as a toddler, but hold on. Now she's looking sad. She even has a tear in her face. Oh no. And then we see the original version of Gangle from the Amazing Digital Circus. Oh, and then adult version of Gangle has a bigger dress and a bigger frown on her face too. And her tear also looks a little bit bigger too, but that's okay. More water to drink at lunchtime. Because after all those circus games, we get thirsty. Family, comment down below, Dr. Doctor, as the secret word of today's video. And me and the limited edition cuddle baby nuggy will heart your comment. All right, family, this is our last comparison before we start operating on the Amazing Digital Circus. And this comparison is... Oh, for Zubal. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I know Zubal is kind of annoying, kind of complainy, kind of mean. But look at baby Zubal. Wait, I love them so much. They look like a little mini Easter egg. Aww. And toddler Zubal is licking a giant lollipop. <laughs> that looks tasty. Then we got the original version of Zubal. Oh, wow. Look at the adult version of Zubal. She's not licking a swirly lollipop no more. She has a swirly snake going down her arm. So either she is really into reptiles or she is wearing some crazy jewelry. Either way, I approve. Family, next up, we're looking at the Amazing Digital Circus Operations. Oh, no, oh, no, look. That was an Amazing Digital Circus hospital truck. And who is our first patient? Uh-oh, it's Kane. Uh-oh, we're popping things in his arms. We're taking out his eyeballs, fixing his teeth. Uh, wait a second, sir. What the chicken nugget was just in your chest? Did we just pull out a miniature bubble? How did he get in there? I thought y'all were supposed to be best friends. He's not supposed to be your dinner. Bruh. All right, patch up the teeth, save Zubal, and ta-da! We have officially operated on our first patient. Kane, the toothy man. All right, family, next up, our next Amazing Digital Circus patient is <gasps> Ragatha. Family, I think she's sick. All right, doctor, doctor, can you help her? <gasps> Ragatha has a bad case of the abstraction, and we need to save her. Okay, yoink, yoink, yoink. Take off the glitch. Attach her to this very serious wire that I think is supposed to give her food. And family, did we do enough to save Ragatha? <gasps> 
Woohoo! Yes, we did! There you go, Ragatha. You are saved. Our next Maisie General Circus patient is... Jack! Family, are you ready to operate on Jax? Uh-oh. Wait a second. I think Jax is hiding something in his clothes. Okay, and he's also wearing some creepy, weird virtual reality glasses that kind of make his eyeballs look like tornadoes. Either that or very spinny curly fries. <laughs> now I'm hungry again. All right, Jax, what are you hiding inside of your clothes? You better show us right now. Oh, it's gold. Hey, yo, Jax. Why were you hiding so many keys inside of your tummy? And more importantly, where would those keys go? Do they open secret doors? And is one of those secret doors the exit door of the amazing digital circus? Oh, man, family. I knew that bunny was sneaky. Jax be doing Taco Bell runs in between his fighting sessions with the Gloinks. No wonder he has so much energy. I would, too, if I had unlimited tacos. And now let's crack, crack Jax's ear back on his head. And it looks like we had a successful operation. Evil, suspicious bunny rabbit Jax. You're welcome. The next amazing digital circus character we're operating on is Pomni. Oh, sorry, y'all. I don't know. Pomni do be acting super crazy, so I don't know if we're gonna be able to fix her. Okay, it looks like there is a couple things wrong with this patient. She has a glitched out hand, a broken hat, and something hiding in her stomach. Oh, man, this is a lot to work on. And I don't know if I have the patience for it. All right, we are fixing her hand. We fixed her hat. Oh. And now we're taking out more virtual reality goggles out of her tummy? Tommy, how did that get in there? Did you eat it again in another VR game of Five Nights at Freddy's? Because I'm telling you, girl, no matter how many of those you eat, you are not gonna turn into an animatronic. Seriously. All right, family, next up, we are looking at the Amazing Digital Circus AI movie post. <gasps> and the first one, we have our girl, Pomni, <gasps> starring in her own Disney movie. Oh my gosh, Pomni, I love you so much more right now. Not only do you look stunning, you now turn the back into a human. And now you're a giant movie star? My hat goes off to you. Um, this is just a pair. Ooh, here's another version of Pomni as a Disney princess. Wait a second, family. I know Pomni's in her own Disney movie, but does that automatically mean that she's a princess? Or do you think she's still a clown or a jester? Or maybe she's a clown princess. Little bit of both. I see you, Pomni. Not only are you every color of the rainbow, but you're also every shade of crazy. Princess, clown, and colorful. I love it. Next up, we have Jax, who is doing the disco in his own Disney movie. Okay, Jax, I see you. In the first Disney movie of Jax, he looks super happy and nice. And family, is Jax doing the splits? So I thought bunnies were supposed to hop with their legs, not snap them in two. Bro, that looks like it hurts. Next up, we have another version of Jax in a movie, and he looks so happy. Aww. <gasps> Wait a second, Ragatha! Look at you! You're also a movie star, too? I mean, I'm not gonna comment how your hair looks like a sponge that soaked up all of the ketchup inside of your sink. But girl, I am so proud of you! And I'm even more proud that you found a hat that fits over that giant head of yours. That's dedication. Ooh, this one is another version of Ragatha, but she looks way more like a doll in this. Instead of looking like a real-life human, this says Disney Ragatha the Rug Doll. <gasps> Family, do you think it's a movie about a doll coming to life? Kind of like Megan? Whoa! This cute little trailer just got a lot more creepy. Ah, well, speaking of creepy, Kane! Why do you look like that? No, 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 I do not like either of those. You look like an evil Smurf, and you look like Mr. Potato Head. I'll go with the real potato, thank you. <laughs> Kinger, what are you doing? There, you look like a silly chess piece. That weirdly lost his mouth. Probably because he was crying and complaining so much. And then this version of Kinger looks like, um, I guess another piece of chess? This version he looks a lot more cool. Look at his robe. It got ten times fluffier. And that means I like it ten times better. <gasps> Kinko, why you look so sad? You literally have your own movie, bro. Can't have anything to be sad about. Except if nobody watches your movie, then I guess that would be kind of sad. It's 
Spoiler alert, family! Spoiler alert! The whole movie was just him crying anyways! You didn't miss much. Woo! Zelda! Your, your Disney movie poster looks like a giant birthday party. And I kind of want to go. Can I get an invite? All right, family. Next part of today's video is the craziest part yet. We are going to show you the story of Jackson, Pommy, and we thought they were in love, right? Well, today, uh, we're not so sure that that's still a thing. Okay, here we have somebody who looks like Jax. And then here, beside him, we have somebody that looks like Pommy. But I'm not too sure what is all around them. Um, I see that there's a baby duck on the bottom. So maybe they're in like uh, the ocean or a pool or the sand that a duck is walking through. Oh, family, look. Jackson and Pomni look so happy together. They're smiling and blushing. And Jax even has his arm around Pomni. <gasps> family, maybe Jax and Pomni are still in love. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We are coloring this picture in. And the more that we're coloring it in, the more that I notice what it is. Oh! It's Jax and Pomni in a bathtub together! With a little squeaky duck. And look at that giant heart beside them. They're in love! Aww! Okay, okay, okay. So that was a cute picture, but let's see the next picture. Maybe, just maybe, there is a little bit trouble in paradise. Maybe Jax and Pomni don't like each other anymore. And they broke up. That is Pomni on the side, and she's looking really surprised, like, oh! What is she saying, oh, at? There's Jax over there, and he has his hand on his head. Family, do you think he's knocking on his head like he would knock out a door? Um, is that why Pomni is being shocked? Wait, there's another red heart, so it looks like Pomni's happy, and she is in love with Jax because, oh, no! Ah! I just realized what's happening! Pomni is in love with Jax because Jax is super muscular. Wow, Jax, you're so strong. That's crazy. Okay, next photo of Jax and Pomni family. Are they gonna break up? Will they stay together? Will they be in love? Or will they fall out of love? Uh, okay, so we have Pomni and she's lying down with Jax. Family, this is probably good. For some reason, I thought Jax and Pomni were gonna break up, but all of these pictures are very happy photos. They are just cuddling in bed, about to go to sleep. Maybe they just read a nice nighttime book. Maybe they are lying down beside a warm fireplace in the winter. And maybe, just maybe, they just ate a very delicious chocolate ice cream sandwich. And in that case, I would be in love too. But do I blame them for looking so happy? Nope, not at all. So much love. Family, speaking of things that we love and make us happy, these are the things that the amazing digital circus characters want for Christmas. All right, Pommy, what do you want as a present? Plushies. Plushies? <gasps> Speak of plushies. Family, I think Pommy wants the brand new Cuddle Baby Nugget plushie. That's a three-in-one plushie pillow and blankie from JobLexit.com. Don't worry, Pommy, I'll buy one for you. Next up, we have Jax. What do you want for Christmas? Fireworks. Fireworks. Uh, are you sure that's safe? Subul, what do you want for Christmas? Money. <laughs> Money? Kind of greedy, don't you think? Kinger wants for Christmas? A target ball. What? A <laughs> giant red ball from Target? Is it because it's shaped like other chess characters that you're friends with? Ragatha wants for Christmas? A sewing kit. A sewing kit. Oh, to sew on her eyeball. Kofmo, what do you want for Christmas? A lighter. A lighter? Why? What are you trying to do, Kofmo? A lighter to light the abstracted version of yourself on fire? No, 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 bro. Don't do that. That is not safe. Moon, what do you want for Christmas? Something safer, right? Oh, <laughs> this lotion looks exactly like Moon. Bubble? Bubble bath. Aw, of course he wants bubble bath. He can make more of himself. Kane, what do you want for Christmas? Human soul. Uh, human souls? Kane wants a human soul for Christmas? Uh, Kane, uh, I don't think Santa can get that for you. And you shouldn't ask for it anyways. Ah! Family, there's only a couple of these cuddle baby nuggies left before they're gone forever. Go get them at shoplinkedit.com before we run out. Me and the brand new cuddle baby nuggie love you so much. And we'll see you all in tomorrow's video.